Hello and welcome to the Infrastructure Design Suite 2014 Visualization Workflow Demonstration. My name is Doug Banker with Imaginic Technologies and I'll be demonstrating the basic workflow from InfraWorks 2014 to Civil 3D 2014 to 3ds Max Design 2014. So what we're seeing here in InfraWorks is uh, a basic model that was brought in uh, specifically from the USGS website where we can bring in uh, different terrain, uh, some imagery uh, draped over top of that, uh, along with roads, uh, water sources, uh, and that sort of thing. So what we can do now is create what's called proposals. And through this proposals, we can create different scenarios based on um, different projects. Uh, maybe an engineer wants to see some different scenarios of where we can add roadways, uh, that sort of thing. So what we'll do is we'll click on the add. Okay, we'll type in a name for the new proposal. We'll say new cul-de-sac. Okay, now we can go in and start creating some uh, some basic roads. So we'll come up here and we'll click on create roads. And if we click twice, we can see different uh, examples of roads. Okay, um, if we click on the little open envelope, uh, we can select different roads. Uh, just out of the box here in InfraWorks, and we're just going to select standard. Okay, now we can just start placing our proposed road. Okay, so we're going to do a cul de sac. For example purposes, we're not going to get it too crazy here. Okay, and then double click to end. Okay, so now we have a, a basic cul de sac here. <clears throat> now let's say we want um, to create an, another proposal here. Okay, so we'll click on the new again. Call this new road. Okay, we'll delete this. Start the create roads command again, and it will remember the last style road. So now we'll just click a few times and just run it through the center of this development and we'll double click again and now we have uh, a second proposal so now when we come back we can click on this down arrow and we'll see our different scenarios click on new road and now we'll see the other road that we just placed in here. So now we've taken these two different proposals to the developer uh, or the owner and they've approved this roadway uh, connecting each end of this development here. So now what we can do is we can now export this from InfraWorks into Civil 3D. To do that we can come up to the application menu, export, and we're going to export to an IMX. Okay, with this export to IMX dialog, okay, it's going to ask, um, what what do we want to export to Civil 3D? Do we want to use the entire model? 
or we can select a polygon. And of course we want to just select a polygon because we don't want our entire entire model taken into Civil 3D. So we'll click on polygon and we'll just click and come around our development. and then double click okay what file do we want to uh, save this as and to what folder and now we just click on export so now in Civil 3D we can insert our IMX file by coming up to the insert tab and import IMX Okay, we go out and find where we exported it from in InfraWorks. Click on the IMX file, and now we can click on Open. Once we've imported our objects from InfraWorks, uh, we now have actual Civil 3D objects. We have a Civil 3D surface. Okay, we have an existing ground, uh, existing transportation, and a proposed ground. Okay, the proposed, proposed ground is based off of the uh, new road that we put in, in InfraWorks. The existing ground is the surface uh, from the uh, terrain in InfraWorks. And then the existing transportation uh, is basically these uh, surfaces kind of surrounding the, um, the alignments that are now created uh, from the roads in InfraWorks. And it also has brought in alignments where the roads were in InfraWorks. Here we have the list of the different alignments that it brought in. So now we can come in and start uh, start designing uh, our corridors. So now that we've created all the necessary uh, objects, uh, our profiles, our road assembly, and our actual corridors, and we have everything we need now to take it in to civil th to excuse me to 3ds max design to do that there are a couple different ways that we could uh, bring this into 3ds max design however uh, there is a great plugin in the output tab called export to civil view for 3ds max design this is a plugin uh, specific to Civil 3D objects uh, to take from Civil 3D into 3ds Max Design. So we're going to click on that. And this export to Civil View for 3ds Max dialog box displays. On the left, we can select or choose what Civil 3D objects we want to take into 3ds max design this is our corridors our sites which contain our alignments and then any surfaces that we want to take into 3ds max design once we figure out which objects we want to take we can click on export and then save this externally so then we can bring it into 3ds max design now in 3ds max design we can pull in our civil 3d objects that we just exported through the civil view tab geometry import and then our civil 3d vsp 3d file 
Okay, we'll click on open. Browse to where we saved. Okay, now what we're seeing here are the objects from Civil 3D. On the left, it's going to show us our surfaces, our sites, which contain our alignments, and those three corridors. On the right side of this dialog box, we're going to see the individual objects that we can bring in. Okay, so we can select our corridor baselines. We can also bring in our existing ground surface and our proposed ground surface. And now our uh, corridor feature lines. And then we'll bring in our actual corridor surfaces that were created when we created the corridor. Once we select the features and uh, other objects that we will need into 3ds Max design, click on OK. We'll say yes and yes again. And now we have our civil 3D objects now showing here in 3ds Max design. Now we can add materials. Uh, to our surfaces. We can add materials to our roadways. Uh, we can also add different 3D objects, trees, light poles, vehicles. But first we can go ahead and add our materials. So we'll go into the material editor. Okay, first thing we'll define here for our materials is our grass for our surfaces. So we'll click on a default sphere here and we'll click on get material. Okay, in our material map browser, we can go ahead and search by name. Okay, we'll type in grass and you should see here different types of grass that we can add. We'll just do bluegrass. Okay, and as you see here in the, the sphere, we have our grass. And now we can either drag and drop or we can select the surface we want to attach it to and then click on assign material to selection because it's a big enough surface we can go ahead and just drag and drop okay and now continue dragging and dropping until we cover all of our surfaces Okay, and now we can add uh, some materials to our roadways. So we'll click on an empty sphere, get material, and we can search for asphalt. Okay, we'll pick asphalt too, double click, and now we have an asphalt uh, material here. This time I'm going to go ahead and select by name. Okay, and then we're going to select our Region 2 corridor surface. And now we can assign material to selection.
Okay, we'll select our other one, the new road here, then we'll assign a material to that as well. So now we've got our basic materials assigned. I'm going to bring up the Civil View Explorer, which is a great tool, uh, again, uh, inside of 3ds Max Design, specific to uh, Civil 3D, uh, Civil 3D um, types of uh, rendering uh, objects and that sort of thing inside of 3ds Max Design. Okay, I'm going to dock this to the side here. Okay, and what this does is gives us uh, some specific objects that we want to uh, add into our scene in 3ds Max Design. If we go into the Civil View pull down and we come to the Object Placement Style Editor, as you can see here, we can add. Uh, different objects here, uh, any vehicles, furniture, uh, meaning uh, park benches, uh, light poles, that sort of thing, uh, trees and plants, uh, any road signs, uh, we can also bring in cameras and any 3D primitives uh, that may be useful in our scene. In this case, we're going to click on Open Style. Okay, we're going to select Scene, which is a predefined scene that I have. Click on Open. As you can see here, uh, brings in some different, uh, in this case, vehicles. Okay, we have some trees and plants. Okay, we can um, apply these vehicles uh, to, an, <clears throat> excuse me, to an alignment by clicking on Parent Shape, and we can go ahead and select an alignment. Click on Apply. We have a vehicle ready. And we can go ahead and add uh, animation uh, to these vehicles. Create any still renderings we may uh, want for any presentations to the owner um, or the developer. And then, of course, uh, create some basic. Uh, animation, maybe some cars driving through here uh, to kind of show off what what this subdivision uh, will look like before it's even built. Give the owners or developers uh, a good visual so they can see it before it's built. That was a basic demonstration on the Infrastructure Design Suite 2014 Visualization Workflow. Again, my name is Doug Banker with Imaginet Technologies, and thank you for watching.